بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الله وأكرمني بنور الله اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك منشر علينا فزاء نعود لك برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيم Chapter 13 is about time Section 10 في القوة والفعل Chapter 13 في الزمان We said in the haraka we have six aspects المبدع المنتهى المسافة المتحرك أو موجوع الحركة المحرك أو فاعل الحركة and finally زمان time We mean by time here real time. Everything that has haraka, everything has motion, means gradually changing. Okay, it's gradually changing. Haraka means gradual change. Everything has its own time. Because we have a kind of a general time, a standard time that we agreed to use it as the basis for our day-to-day -day life based on sun and moon you know we consider the motion of earth and moon as the basis then we have you know hour minute second day week year century but this is not the time of everything this is the time for sun and earth and moon Every haraka has its own time. <coughs> and you can compare time, that time, with this time. Because haraka means gradual change. It's like a line. No two moments of this exist with each other. Always something expires, another thing comes. Previous parts are not there, future parts have not yet come. It's always expiring and going on. This is what we said uh, before, it's It's not fixed. Something comes and something goes. Okay? So, in the same way that we have line, a specific line, for example, five meter line for something which has just uh, metabii, you know, uh, there was a section that uh, we didn't study maybe in this book. You know, we have just metabii, we have just metalimi. Just metabi means just physical object. It's mubham because we are not talking about any specific size. But when you say one meter, for example, of mm, iron, this one meter, we call it jismet ta'alimi, means something that we use it for teaching purposes. So it can be line, it can be sat, <coughs> space, it can be hajm, three dimensional. Anyway, in the same way that line is continuing, time is also continuing. But the difference is that all parts of line exist at the same time. Yeah, it is karrozat. All of them exist at the same time. But time is gayro karrozat. It has continuity but not static. Parts cannot exist together. You understand? So it's a line, but gradual line. We have also things that occur in time. We call them zamani. Zaman is time. Zamani means temporal, something which has time. For example, you walk. 
walk walking takes place in time and time is a kind of like quantity a kind of measure for evaluating your work for example you took five minutes or half an hour yeah this shows somehow the quantity of your walking so according to Harakat Johari because substance is changing gradually substance has motion then time also becomes something related to the substance time is not just accidental like those people who say haraka is only in aras mullah sadra and people like him who believe in harakat johari therefore they bring time into the substance in the sense that it's not accidental and this is why some people say it's like fourth dimension you have tool as ertefa yeah you have lengths widths and height these are together but another dimension is time is how it is expanded over time tool as an ertefa explains how it is expanded in a space yes expanded in space but time is how it's expanded in time in a gradual way so please look at the book al faslu salis ashar fi al zaman inna najdu al hawadith al waqi'ata taht al harakah munqasimatan ila qata'at we find the incidents that occur under motion divisible into parts لا تجامع قطعة منها القطعة الأخرى في فعلية الوجود. No part of it would exist together with another part in فعلية الوجود in actual being. So none of them exist together. You have one hour. No minute, no second of this exists with another second. Okay. Yes, it always expires. Lemma, why? Because in the fiiliyat wujud al qat'at al mafruza thaniyan mutawqifatun ala zawal al wujud al fiili al qat'at al ula. Because actuality to become actual, actuality of existence of any part that you consider a second part depends on expiry. Of the previous part, no second, no later part comes unless the previous one has gone. ثم نجد القطعة الأولى المتوقفة عليها منقسمة في نفسها إلى قطعتين. Then we find the first part, which the second depended on that. Even the first part can be divided in two parts, and <laughs> the first half is needed for the second part. And you can always continue. Yeah. For example, you say one hour. You can divide into two parts. The second half an hour depends on the first half an hour. It cannot come to existence unless this has gone. Again, the first half an hour can be divided into two quarters, and the second quarter cannot exist unless the first quarter. Again, you can divide into two. Always, it can be divided because uh, you would not reach uh, the point that it is not divisible. Because even if it is epsilon, then it can divide it because half epsilon, the quarter epsilon. <laughs> Yes, it becomes epsilon epsilon. But anyway, it never stops, and this is why we say we don't have really point. Point is only where the line ends or begins. We have two points at the beginning, which are not really anything. M moment in Arabic we say on on means moment. Sometimes you uh, say 
give me a moment or wait a moment. But this moment is not really a moment in a philosophical sense because this moment can be one minute, can be two minutes, can be a few seconds. But in philosophy, when we say on is like point for line. Point has no length, no width, no height. On means even you cannot say one thousand thousands of a second. On means absolutely no continuity. And this is only where time begins or ends. Actually means outside. Yeah, it's a limit. It's had those zaman, not inside. You remember we say Bedayatul Haraka and Nehayatul Haraka are not part of Haraka. Yeah? So manajadul get at ula the first half an uh, for example hour again this first part which was depending uh, the second part was depending on it by itself is divided into two parts again these two parts also cannot exist together la to jamu ihdahumal ukhra wa hakaza kullama hasalna qit'atan qablat al qisma whenever we make a part it accepts division to two parts. Menduna and Taqifal Qismatu ala hadan. Without division, a stopping at any point. It's always possible to make it smaller and smaller. Maybe your equipment cannot you know, measure it, but your agl says still it has a little length and it can be therefore divided. This is not possible. This is not possible unless a quantity continuity occurs for haraka. So, happening to occurring to. So, quantity continuity should be there for haraka that is the time nataqad tataqaddaru bihi haraka takes measure by it qadr means measure one meaning of qadr means measure tataqaddaru bih means tataqaddaru al harakatu biha bihi means with this kan wa taqbalu al insan and accepts division this continuity is not the same as haraka itself. Is not the same as the reality of haraka. Why? Because haraka is general, in a sense, is ambiguous. What I mean by ambiguous, it means that there is no specific measure in it. لَأَنَّهُ Because this one is a specific continuity while ما في الحركة في نفسها امتداد مبهم But in haraka there is ambiguous امتداد Haraka doesn't tell you 5 minutes, 5 hours, 5 days Haraka has continuity but we don't know how much we need a quote. Like Jism Tabi'i, which says it has, for example, legs and widths and height, but it doesn't say how much. We need Jism Ta'alimi to come and tell us what is the weight, what is the, sorry, widths, what is the height, what is the length, and so on and so forth. Nadir al the Mubham al ladi fil Jism Ta'alimi wa ta'ayyunuhu al ladi huwa al Jism Ta'alimi. Like, ambiguous or unspecified continuity in Jasm Tabi'i and its ta'ayyun its uh, a specification in Jasm Ta'alimi okay fahadha al-imtidat alladhi bihi ta'ayyana imtidadu al-harakah Kamun mutasilun aridun lil haraka. This continuity by which continuity of haraka becomes a specific because haraka is mubham. 
You don't know how long. This quantity is making that continuity a specific. هذا الامتداد الذي به تعين امتداد الحركة كم متصل عارض للحركة. This continuity by which the continuity of haraka is specified is a quantity which is continuous and happens to haraka like jism ta'limi alladhi bihi ta'ayyana imtidadu al-jism tabii by which continuity of jism tabii is specified in certain widths or height or lengths for jism tabii so the relation between جسم تعليمي and جسم طبيعي is like the relation between زمان and حركة. But the difference is in جسم تعليمي when you have خات and سات and حاج is قار الزات or غير قار الزات. In جسم طبيعي and جسم تعليمي it's قار الزات because they can exist together. But here it's غير قار الزات. For haraka, its امتداد is غير قار الزات because they cannot exist together. قار comes from قرار. There is no قرار means there is no stability. إلا أن هذا الكم العارض للحركة غير قار. This quantity that happens to haraka is not قار. It's not stable. It's not static. ولا يجامع بعض أجزائه المفروضة بعضا، and some of its parts which we suppose don't exist with other parts. No two parts exist together. Okay. بخلاف كمية الجسم التعليمي، unlike quantity of جسم التعليمي، you say five centimeter or five square centimeter they exist together. Why? فإنها قارة. Because they have قرار. They are existing together. مجتمعة الأعضاء. Its parts exist together. هذا هو الزمان العارض للحركة. This cam, which is متصل عن غير قارة ذات في الحركة. This is time, which happens to حركة, and it's the مقدار is the measure, the size for حركة. وكل جزء من من حيث إنه متوقف عليه الآخر متقدم بالنسبة إليه. Every part of time is something that the later one needs. So it precedes the later one. ومن حيث إنه متوقف متأخر بالنسبة إلى ما توقف عليه. But also this is preceded by another part, so depends. So the future part depends on this, but this also depends on the previous part. وترف منه الحاصل بالقسمة. Then if you reach the end. The limit of it. Suppose you are able to stop at one point, or you go to the beginning and end of it. That is on. That's moment. In philosophical sense, moment has no duration. Moment has to be zero duration. Yeah. Absolutely without duration. That's on. وقد تبين بما تقدم. With what we have said, few things are established. First, أن لكل أولا أن لكل حركة زمانا خاصا بها. You know, uh, even in uh, measure, for example, uh, we have a standard meter. Then we consider everything. As how bigger or smaller is compared to that standard measure. Somehow we have considered time of Earth and Moon and Sun as a kind of a standard. Then we say this happened very fast, very long, but 
we all measure these with a common time. Otherwise, every harakah has its own time. I don't know if you remember this point that I told you in philosophy, I think, that I believe even uh, age of soul and age of body are not the same. Because each of them has its own harakah. So maybe a person very quickly becomes mature in his soul, but body is a still child. Most of the time, we have learned that if someone makes this much haraka in body, has made this much haraka also in soul. But you should not think these are the same thing. These are two different things happening in parallel. Normally, when someone, for example, becomes 15, 16, we expect certain amount of maturity, normally. But maybe someone can become mature much sooner. Like, for example, Isa alayhi salam, when he's born, has reached that level of maturity that he can speak. Or Imam Jawad alayhi salam. So, and also another thing, I don't know if you remember, I also said that uh, body becomes old. Man, no ammerho, no nakesso felchak. Becomes old and you lose your kind of strength. But soul can remain always young. There is no reason why soul also should go to decline. And this is why in heaven, everyone is young. In dunya, your age is measured by your body. In heaven, your age is measured by your soul. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, we have a time for every haraka and no two things have the same time everything has its own time like everything has its own physical mass every motion has a time which is exclusive to that which is the measure of that haraka that motion this is one rule but people have made a consensus. Atbaq, what does it mean? Atbaq, ejma. Atbaq. Atbaq al nas ala taqdeer ammat al harakat wa taayin al nisab baynaha nisab baynaha bi zaman al am al ladhi huwa miqdar al harakat al yomiya. But there has been consensus among people to measure all motions and define the relation between them and general time which is the measure of daily motion so it has become like a, a stick uh, you, you say you are the stick yeah. so it has become a general framework that we measure everything based on that yeah but this is not the only time everything has its own time why they agreed on choosing this as the basis and the reference? Because this is well known to them. Everyone can watch day and night. Then they have divided to centuries. Years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds, and so on and so forth. The taqdeer al-harakat. Because they wanted to measure motions by comparing harakat with this. So if a harakat 
takes the same time of one uh, haraka of earth around itself, they say one day, 24 hours. But it has its own time. But that time and this time coincide. Okay? وَالزَّمَانُ الَّذِي لَهُ دَخْلٌ فِي الْحَوَادِثِ الزَّمَانِيَّةِ عند المثبتين للحركة الجوهرية هو زمان الحركة الجوهرية The time which bears on temporal events or incidents for those who believe in Harakat al-Juhariya is the time of Harakat al-Juhariya. Is the time of substantial motion. So that's the time for them which is important. This is point one. The second thing that follows our discussion is You remember we had the discussion about taqaddum and taqhur, to precede and to follow. For zaman, this is essential. It's not something that we grant to them. They are really preceding or following. Exactly. So, taqaddum and taakhur, to precede or to follow, are essential between parts of time. بِمَعْنَا أَنَّ كَوْنَ وُجُودِ الزَّمَانِ سَيَّالًا غَيْرَ قَارٍ يَقْتَضِي أَنْ يَنْقَسِمَ The meaning is this. Existence of time is fluid and does not have stability. This requires that time can be divided, if it is divided, it's not. It's not actually divided, but can be divided into parts that depend on another part. This part is the part that its expiry is needed for existence of the next part. يتوقف على زواله it depends on its expiry what وجود جزء آخر existence of another part بالفعل if that part becomes بالفعل exists actually this must go so المتوقف على the one on which this depends is متقدم متأخر depends on متقدم yeah? So the one which depends is muta'akhir. The one on which it is dependent is muta'akhir. This is easy. Point three. Anna al-an. On. Moment. Huwa taraful zaman. Ah, it's end of time. Limit of time. Means when time finishes or starts. Not inside. هو الطرف الزمان والحد الفاصل بين الجزئين لفن قسمه. If you divide parts to two parts, time to two parts. If you really divide that which is neither to this part nor to the other part, that is on. Because again, you are creating limits. طرف you know taraf? Taraf means end. Yeah? So if we have this line, end of it is taraf. We have one taraf here, one taraf here. It's two sides, two ends. On, which is the end of the time, or if the point that divides, it is negational. Why? Means we don't have real it. Because here is where this ends. There is nothing here. It's a supposition now. 
It doesn't exist. Why? Because we don't have really any re uh, division. If we divide, time is killed. Time can only exist if we don't actually divide it. Yeah? Because when you divide, that point becomes a static. Then there is no harakat. The same thing that we said about khat. We said it is divisible, but if you divide it, then you have made it two khat. It's not one khat. Two lines. This divisibility is wahmi. Gayrafaki means it is in your mind, it is not really separating them. Vahm is not illusion here. Vahm sometimes is illusion, but it doesn't mean illusion. It means, uh, means mental. Imam Baghir Ali Salam said, Awham there means this. Whatever you articulate with your mind, in the end, it's your creation. It's not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how much you try to articulate it, at the end, it's not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pardon? Etabar has different meanings. So if we bring etabar, it becomes complicated. So vahmi means, in, you can say, by your imagination, by your mind. It's not real. You are not really separating them. Yes. Point four. Anna tatali al anat muhalun. It's impossible to have successive moments. Tatali from tell. Then something comes after another yatlu. Tala yatlu. Means to come after another. Yeah. For example, uh, a witness from himself follows him. Or we say, Tali Telbe Masum. Have you heard? Tala Yatlu means to come after something. Moments cannot come after the other. You don't have successive moments. Why? Because moment is only one point, there is no continuity. So you cannot say, there is moment continuously with another moment. It's like gaps. So there must be a haraka, then it stops. Another haraka it stops. You can never have line of moments. If you have one million moments, still it has no duration. One billion moments has no duration. Because one billion in zero is zero. Yeah? To have moments in a successive way. What does it mean in brackets? To have two negational limit sides or more than two without time happening between them it's impossible because if you have billions of points they don't create for you any continuity unless you have something continuous between them this is he says it's clear وَمِثْلُهُ الْكَلَامِ فِي تَتَالِ الْآنِيَاتِ You know, like Zaman and Zamani, we have An and Ani. Zaman is time. Zamani means something that occurs in time. Something which has time. An means moment. Ani means momentary. No, there are things that can happen in moments. But they also are like moments. For example... <coughs> Uh, you bring two things closer to each other. When they connect, they connect in a moment. Because connection is end of harakah. 
or when you disconnect happens in a moment getting closer is gradual but heating or disconnecting is momentary and if you have lots of for example connections but without any haraka or anything like walking or you know moving inside you cannot have successive momentary things kal wasul wal iftiraq wasul means to reach iftiraq means to separate uh, you go towards wall it's gradual but at one point your head hits the wall <laughs> that takes no time like death death is a process but there is one moment that we can say we left this wall there is one moment that is death if you want to be very accurate that is one moment خامساً ان الزمان ان الزمان لا اول له ولا اخر له time has no beginning and no end <coughs> in what sense in the same sense that we said about haraka bimana al juz alladhi la yanqasim min mubtada'ihi aw muntaha the part which cannot be divided at the beginning or at the end zaman has no part which cannot be divided any part of zaman can be divided mabda cannot be divided so it is end of zaman not part of zaman muntaha is also end of zaman not part of zaman la anna qabul al qisma zatiyun lahu to accept division divisibility is essential for time so beginning and end cannot be divided and they are not part of some they are limits of some like point for line okay alhamdulillah we finish this inshallah next session we talk about a speed alhamdulillah rabbil alamin